Hello, welcome to another episode of People's Lima, episode 371. Eric Lima here, your host, and uh, well, I just watched Impact on Pop last night. It was a great, um, great show, and um, I've been watching Impact since um, the Fox uh, Fox Sports Channel, since it stays on there, and then it moved to Spike, and then it moved Destination America, a channel that I did not have, so I'll I watched it on my computer, which is pretty cool. Well, the World Title Series is over because Ethan Cotter III, or as I like to call him, Ethan Cotter III, is, is now the uh, TNA World Heavyweight Champion once again. And also a return, uh, James Storm, who spent a little bit of time at NXT, did not actually did not official sign an official contract. He tried out there um, on NXT a couple of times, and uh, he finally came back to. Uh, TNA and decided to reunite with his buddy, uh, Bear Money Buddy, the King of the Mountain champion, Bobby Roode. And now they're challenging Bram and EY, Eric Young, to <clears throat> to a tag match at the, uh, uh, the at the pay-per-view Friday. I think it was one night only, I think it was called. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. Um, also, uh, speaking of e Eric Young, he faced Matt Hardy in the semifinals of the World Title Series, while... Ethan Carter III faced uh, Bobby Lashley. Um, Ethan Carter III faced Bobby, uh, beat Bobby Lashley, while Matt Hardy beat Eric Young, setting up the fi uh, finals between the two. Jeff Hardy says, "I'll go to the back if you go to the back." Jeff Hardy uh, and Tyrus went to the back. Tyrus is AKA Brodus Clay, or I call him the Big Am Amish Donkey Kong. That's what I like to call him. <laughs> but he follows me on Twitter, so I don't want. I think he's pr pretty. <clears throat> yeah, the Big Amish Donkey Kong. There you go. <clears throat> So, anyways, EC3 beat Matt Hardy cleanly, and uh, now he's the uh, TNA World Heavyweight Champion, which will not, that means we will never hurt here at the end of it. And but there was also a knockout six six knockout tag match as the uh, beautiful people um, will, is faced faced the Dollhouse. Now here's the thing: Brooke Adams has left TNA; she's no longer there. Taryn Terrell is decided to depart from TNA. So, who would be the leader of the Dollhouse? I don't know. Rebel Rebel's my favorite knockout. If I had a favorite member of the Dollhouse, it would be Rebel. I like Rebel. She's gorgeous. She's cute. She may be a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, but she's cute and gorgeous. Beautiful either way. Now, as far as the beautiful people, I, mean, I like Madison Rain. I like I like her. You know, <clears throat> I like Madison Rain. She's she was really gorgeous. I got my two favorite knockouts: Madison Rain and Rebel. All right. So, but Angelina Love couldn't compete because she was seven, she's seven months pregnant. Her, uh, married to uh, Davy Richards. Eddie Edwards is also married to. Uh, one of the local uh, female wrestlers in Alexis Nevea. So the Wolves, Merry Men, still World Tag Team Champions, by the way. Hopefully we see them next week on Impact on Pop. They they um, teamed up with uh, Gail Kim, the current Knockouts Champion, and they defeated the Dollhouse. But Awesome Kong came down, beat up on the beautiful people, and Gail Kim. Now the Dollhouse has Awesome Kong. That is going to be a total nightmare, <laughs> to say the least. Um... <clears throat> And we saw the debut of the miracle Mike Bennett. He used to be he was one half of the tag on um, Ring of Honor tag team champions with uh, Matt Taven known as the Kingdom, um, along with the lovely uh, former WWE diva Maria Canales, who is n they both made their debut now on TNA. Be very interesting, and he has a lot of high ex high aspirations. Knowing that it would be the tag team championship, and uh, my friend Tiger once again sent a sticker. Let's see what he has. And Sean, it's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. And look, it's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's too bright. There you go. It's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. It's Sean the Sheep. <laughs> I like that. Anyways. <clears throat> and I'm really excited about um, when, this weekend. It's not going to be that bad weather-wise. It's going to be just nothing but rain. Thank God. And it's going to be warm. Thank God. You know, up to 50. I'll take it, you know. I just got out of the shower, and I'm um, looking good. My little hair's a little bit messy and shaved up, and I cleaned up nicely. My nails are clean. My I got a new hoodie on, and it's, so it's a little bit <clears throat> on the cold side. And uh, I have yet to receive my first uh, online uh, online purchase of 2006. I have, I've ordered it, but I haven't, and it hasn't come in yet, so be on the lookout for that. Uh... <clears throat> well, tomorrow night on SmackDown, as you know, two title matches. 
Becky Lynch to challenge Charlotte for the Divas Championship. And Kevin Owens um, invokes his rematch clause for the Intercontinental Heavyweight title against Dean Ambrose. So it would be very interesting to see what happens then. And John Cena will be back tomorrow night and probably address everything that's been going on. Uh, everything in his absence. So I wonder how he feels about Roman Reigns having to defend his title in the Royal Rumble match itself against 29 other superstars. A lot of names have already been entered. The whole entire Wyatt family is there. Right back. <clears throat> Chris Jericho is, you know, big show. You know, who knows? I mean, now that the that Mr. McMahon has raised the stakes, expect more names to be added. Export, expect more names to be added. Well, now it's a rumor going around. A rumor going around. And Finn Balor posted something on Instagram about this. So, that the WWE signed four talents from New Japan. Three members were... Three of the four talents were members of the Bullet Club. The famed Bullet Club that has been famous in Japan. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows used to be in the WWE as Festus. And was a, and then competed under Luke Gallows as a member of the Straight Edge Society under CM Punk. So we so if anybody know, knows um, if any of those four that has experience in the WWE, it is Luke Gallows. And the other gentlemen wrestled in WCW, wrestled in TNA, wrestled in Ring of Honor, New Japan. Now he's going to be wrestled. Now he may be um, end up wrestling for the WWE. That'll be AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. And it'll be very interesting to see how that develops. And <clears throat> the um, the IWGP Intercontinental Champion, they have an Intercontinental title, if you believe that. Shins uh, Shinsuke Nakamura um, also signed up. What if he will join forces with Hideo Watami? Hmm. That'll be very interesting to see. We have a lot of factions in the WWE now. We get the Social Outcast, that's the team of Slater. Heath Slater, Bo Dallas, Adam Rose, and Curtis Axel. And you've got the League of Nations, Sheamus. Way Barrett, Rusev, Del, Alberto Del Rio, the current United States champion. You get the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt, Lou Copper, Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman. I mean, you get the New Day, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods. I mean, you've got a lot of factions now forming together. And so it'll be very interesting to see how this develops. You, will the Bullet Club or the Balor Club make them make their arrival in NXT? You got you know, could be or it could be in the WWE because we're going to be making the main roster debut after a few matches. Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows could they be at it? Ooh, with the with the World Heavyweight Title on the line, could they? One of those guys enter the Royal Rumble matchup. <laughs> Anything can happen in the Royal Rumble, that's for sure. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, this is um, <clears throat> this could be a big year. 2016 could be a big year for the WWE. Very interesting to see what's going to happen. Very interesting. I'm very excited about it. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. Seriously, it just it excites me to see this. So it's <clears throat> it rolls off the tip, top the tip, yeah, tip of the tongue. You know, oh boy. So I don't know what's going to happen. And uh, I bought another one of those bad boys. Yep, and that means I'm going to do this soon. So once that happens, I'll get to watch the World matchup, watch NXT. And see what happens. Will the Balor Club actually make their debut? It will be very exciting. <clears throat> it will be very, very exciting. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen next. Who knows for sure. Well, that's all the time we have on the show. Episode 371 complete. I don't. Um, um, the title of this is uh, Impact and Pop and Impact on Pop and WWE News. Bring it at coming at you. We'll see what happens. WWE.com was talking about that for uh, signing. Is the rumors going around? Triple H just kept mum about it. So uh, see you later. And to all my subscribers, my family, relatives, and friends out there, please keep things homey fresh. And to all the haters out there that don't like my videos, that like to thumb them down, and all this good stuff, eat a Snickers bar and change your quackish. All right. See you later. And and good night.